Hello and welcome to Infinity. I thought I'd give away the test cards that I use, the ones I've generated. They're all in .air photo formats. There are a lot of them are, are gradients in shapes and things. You get full resolution and you can expand them to any size. Anyway, uh, you may recognize some of them, but you might find them useful for various things yourself. This is a simple gradient, just black to white, useful for testing things like, you know, colour things, etc. Um, sharpening strips, if you sharpen along here, particularly if you blur it first, you can get to see what happens along here. You can use this to spot halos and so on. A resolution circle, this is just triangles, a whole bunch of them. If you zoom into them, you can see it goes on forever. And again, because they're shapes, you can make this huge. You can use it for testing, sharpening, resolution of your screen. You can see the Moira patterns you're going to get as well. It's handy for that. And what else? Oh yeah, just simple RGB um, spotlights. And you can drag these in and set the blend modes and see what happens to the overlap. Useful for teaching, etc. A simple smooth colour wheel. Red starts at the top. I just tend to use it there. Sometimes red starts over here, but that's where I go from. Uh, angle goes from here around here and starts off again. And uh, this is one I just chucked in there, which I use uh, now and again, which is with the opposite colours, red and green opposite and blue and yellow. And this is related to the opponent process model, which is the way that the eye sends information, encodes information when it goes back to the brain. You get in the LAB model. It's also kind of a pigment type thing as well. So... Um, this is just a simple spectrum, as you can see, red all the way through to red again. Same as the circle, just in a rectangle, fills the screen. Um, this is the same thing, but now fading to white and fading to black at the bottom. It's a bit like the colour picker you see and the colour thing you see up here somewhere. There you go, that thing. Um, what else? Oh yeah, this is kind of using the HSL principles because... Um, it's useful for testing HSL things. So this is a simple colour wheel. And this one fades in the middle to white. This one to black, which are luminosity things. And this one fades to grey in the middle, which are saturation things. Same sort of thing here, but fading from the top down. It just gives you a bigger amount of area. Depends if you want to do it that way. I use this one a heck of a lot. And this is the primary and secondary colours fading to black, white and grey again. But also you've got black, grey and white, and those fading as well. A 12 colour wheel, 12 colours, which brings in other tertiary colours. I looked around for various names for these, and these are the ones I tend to use. There seems to be no particular standard. So for example, lime, you sometimes get chartreuse, which I thought was rather posh, so I just kept it at lime. Violet, I wondered about, should that be purple? But there's an argument online about that, and that's apparently definitely violet. Okay. And this is a test strip. Again, the same colours, but again, fading to white, black and grey. Oh, and finally, just to put this in, this is one I, I found a list of, of somewhere and I just made this up. Um, uh, skin tones, of course, it's not going to be all skin tones, but it may be useful in matching or whatever. And there you go. That's uh, all of those. That's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think 14, I think it is. I uh, hope it's useful and thank you very much for watching.